Hi everybody, welcome to Sandra's Art Studio. Today we are finishing the snail shell that I started last week and I'm polishing basically all the rough edges with a little black paint so I can make everything look a little sharper. And of course, if there's any uh, missing spots or anything not looking right, of course, this is the time for me to take advantage and do it because when I'm done with the sharpening the edges, I will clear coat it with this product called Frog Juice. Okay, so this product is a UV protector and you're going to see it on the video in a minute. And I've done murals and I've painted, once I'm done with the murals, I painted over with this Frog Juice. And I really like the product because it stands the time. It, um, it does protect it from the sun from fading and it's super easy to apply. So two good reasons to uh, have this product. And since I'm turning this into a little upside down planter because I like the way the snail shell looks on the very top when it's all painted. So I figured, you know, let me try something different and um, that's what i'm going to do with it so on the top i also have a little hole well i open this hole a little bit more because i want to make sure that number one that i can hang it from the hole and number two that i'm going to be able to water my plant so keep those things in mind so um the bee i'm not really finishing it all the way and i'm putting some of the beads in place of the body and in place of the eyes. And um, I think it looks adorable. This is a, the old snail shell that I was following right now. So I'm removing some of the um, beading that I did that made it look like a chandelier. I was not really crazy about the look. And now I'm back to the new snail shell and I'm beading it. <clears throat> I'm making it where these two are going to be a little matching. So I'm basically re-beating the old one and beating the new one. Um, you'll see it in a little bit. But super fun project. Very messy after I'm all done. And it was um, a little tedious trying to get the plant in there. Now with this plant, this is called cola de burro, or it's also called donkey tail. And this plant doesn't have like really strong roots. So that's why I choose this plant to actually um, do the upside down thing. I think it looks adorable. Anyway, what do you guys think? Give me a comment. Um, if you'd like to see more projects like this, let me know. And as you see, I do have a collection of these cola de burro or donkey tails, which I love. And we'll see how the upside down works out after a few months.
just to clarify what I mean by not strong roots is these roots are not overwhelming. They don't need a lot of room and it grows really fast. So that's that with um, this plant in this snail shell. And for now, we're done with this video and see you next week. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Bye.